Hello, hello. Assalamu alaikum. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the breakfast show with me and Nusha. We're here on City FM 89. How's it going, boys and girls? How are we doing this morning? Together till 10 o'clock, where you and I will be playing music. chatting about life and just having a good time. The weekend is not too far away from us. Also a lot of throwback music that's going to be happening through the course of the show today. So stay with me. Here's hoping everybody's having a good start. How was Azadi Day for you? How did you celebrate? What did you do? How patriotic did you really feel? You know, this is a question that's really relevant in our times. At a time when we all are a little like, mm, what's going on around us? How do we truly really feel? So a question to ask yourself, and I'm asking myself this question as well. Where do I stand on the spectrum of patriotism? Either way, we shall be together till 10 a.m., lots of music to kick off the show with. Stay tuned. The fun has just begun. 15th of August you guys today India celebrates its independence day it's a national holiday celebrated annually of course and uh, yeah today was the establishment of an independent indian state as well one day after us uh, yep occurred on midnight on august 14th and 15th 1947 the partition that took place partition is one thing but i've been looking at how these politicians kind of drive home the narrative that they are our enemies we are their enemies and i'm kind of becoming exhausted of it because it just seems really redundant it seems like a boring concept and aren't we tired of just hating on one another um, i know ki unki gaadi chalti hai unki dukaan chalti hai but after we saw arshad nadeem's mother and after we saw neeraj chopra's mother didn't we feel really good and we felt like you know we had a greater sense of belonging we were our struggles were similar our history was similar languages too and those boys really connected and that made me feel like you know sure i'm a proud pakistani sure they're proud indians but not sure if we are enemies really Talking about the 15th of August what else happened this day so big days Napoleon the 1st by the way uh yep he was born on this day in 1769 in Corsica believe it or not he was a French general the first consul and emperor of the French and one of the most celebrated persons in the history of the west and of course uh, there's been movies made on napoleon and how he revolutionized military organization and training and uh, now people study the napoleonic code the prototype of later civil law codes etc etc napoleon bonaparte you guys was born on this day and he was quite a military leader right and we all talk about the napoleon complex a man who was maybe not very tall i'm not going to say short but had a lot to prove to the world from what we have read and gathered but now i started questioning history and i feel like i wish we had a clearer account about who people were really like what they were really like rather and napoleon again seems a very very intriguing individual only gets better the 15th of august also has a lot of birthdays you guys today is jennifer lawrence's birthday she's a fantastic american actor got to love her and uh, she's known for her versatility on screen and her excel- accessible honest off screen persona right and uh, yeah started with silver linings playbook but has done so many amazing amazing work and i quite liked her in x men uh, the hunger games and silver lining playbook of course great stuff it's ben affleck's birthday as well today he was born on this very day in 1972 he is also uh, an american actor who's played leading roles in a lot of films and uh, he's you know his most acclaimed film perhaps is goodwill hunting but at the moment he's also married to jlo and they're in the news for all the wrong reasons but well this is the way the media world works it's unforgiving when it comes down to your personal life and they've been asking for privacy and ho- hanging on to some sort of you know um sanity and all this but it's coming i mean it's not coming easy let's just put it like that so here is hoping and wishing him all the very best as well uh, no bad feelings to anybody right here on the breakfast show 
hope you guys have your seat belts on no over speeding no over honking over stimulation ki bhi koi zarurat nahi hai which is something that we all are victims to there's a lot of stimulation going around i constantly feel like i'm getting information from all ends of the world which we possibly are and we don't need it right something i question myself as well about but then i am too i'm a victim i like it on some level and then i complain about it on some level it's not exactly a good thing you got to keep an honest policy and keep one kind of value going but hey it is what it is you guys uh keep safe uh, weird stories coming out of women being kidnapped here there and everywhere scary times i tell you not kind of funny they've been attempts actually in karachi and that for me is just such a traumatic thought uh let alone experiencing something like that got to look out for each other got to take care of each other make sure that our women and our children are protected no matter what the cost all right you guys are you experiencing bad internet as of late so i was reading an article and it said that um the federal government's increased internet monitoring efforts have aimed at enhancing security and surveillance and that in turn has led to a significant slowdown in internet services across pakistan and speeds have dropped by 30 to 40% so you know those voice notes are not going pictures are not going of course this has severely impacted the digital economy uh, particularly call centers e-commerce and other online businesses which are now struggling to operate effectively all well, these things keep happening it's frustrating and uh, for me i get really very upset but i'm trying to just deal with the fact that internet is slow videos are not going through pictures are not going through but there's something bigger at play is which is something that's actually quite scary so hoping for a miracle you guys hoping it's nothing too uh, serious obviously we all feel like up privacy is coming under question to a great extent right and we've just celebrated azadi so i don't want to go down that road of negativity so here's hoping for better days safer days and better internet for each and every one of us did you know that headaches low energy insomnia it could all be caused by low levels of magnesium and vitamin k in your body so what we need to do is we need to start consuming more spinach and more nuts even tomatoes and avocados and bananas you guys kelas are fruits that we really take for granted because it's so readily available but the miracle of a banana is unreal it's really quite something for me i've noticed that it's slowly gradually becoming like a star fruit that we totally underestimate uh, they say bananas are good for your belly they're good in terms of vitamin in terms of energy and strength and yet we're like ha huh, kela pata nahi i don't know why we are like that i really have issues but spinach as well another really yummy addition to your everyday khana peena get your nuts going instead of ice creams and chips and all of that think about it just eliminating these things are not possibly extremely difficult it's only a matter of habit you said it before and we'll say it again hey everybody you're tuned into the breakfast show with me and nushe a few soft skills that can fast track your career uh they say you should make people feel important so there's an shr method make people feel seen that's the s The H is make people feel heard and the R is make people feel like they are remembered. So make direct eye contact, offer a specific compliment, ask good questions and be interested, not interesting. Sometimes you just want to talk about how amazing we are. That would be the wrong policy. and follow up with these people remember their names i am very bad at remembering names and i feel like i kind of lose track but possibly because i meet so many people but just ka yaad rakhna padta hai main badi koshish karti hu and uh, recall something you discussed with these people you know make them feel like yeah i heard you when you were t- speaking and i had a good experience speaking with you stuff like that i really think it is a soft skill it's a skill that makes communication easier you more likable more amiable and it's something that can be easily integrated into your life it will also keep your humility in check basically speaking about soft skills that all of you should have 
me included hone your body language you guys there's a 73855 rule you know because people tend to like and dislike your communication based on three things your words what your tone is and your face that's why when people are having important conversations i'm always like don't write it down speak because up that tone jo hai na that can make or break a relationship sometimes you say something and it just comes out so wrong when the other person is reading it when you like my tone was never like that and of course your body language so 7% your words 38% tonality they say and face and 55% body language so you've got to stand up straight pull your shoulders back make eye contact smile and give a firm handshake you will then officially be dangerous talking about soft skills that can take your career aage um learn how to speak better again a soft skill that doesn't require too much work or extra classes but reading a little bit being communicative so you know concentrate on the way you speak you can even record and study your speaking they say you know you'll cut the ums and like you know like mm 99% people won't do this but you do it keep your communication clear don't sound like you're confused about what it is that you're saying and that can be a game changer ask good questions ask intelligent questions from people um not questions about their income or their family life but about their dreams but about what they plan to do what they think about the economy few things that you can discuss with people travel sports politics um so many history so many interesting topics really makes for good conversations and also gives you place to come across as somebody who is knowledgeable beyond the realm of just chit chatting about what others are up to a very very key point right here so many national songs we played yesterday it was so much fun for me also like a really cool experience to be able to enjoy a pakistani uh, patriotic songs and uh, just a gentle reminder guys things are tough things are really looking out of sorts but we've got to hang in there together and we are i think it's too much for me to ask uh for you from you because you are hanging on so i just wanted to sort of appreciate each and every pakistani alive today I want to appreciate you for still having the ability to smile for still being good in the face of adversity looking out for one another if that's what you're doing and if that's what you've done whether you are in or out of pakistan uh, somewhere deep inside there's a deep rooted love for this country and something that we cannot explain to anybody else and that's why perhaps the hurt and sometimes when you get really upset it's so intense because aapki sari ummeedein aapka pyar aapki zindagi is mulk ke sath judi hui hai so your um, your tears are valid your complaints are valid and your love is valid so thank you for hanging in there and together let's ride this awful difficult wave a little cooler in karachi today the weather is just being completely like erratic right don't even know what it is um that's causing all of that but i do know that i was gifted a very nice plant yesterday for independence and i'm quite excited because it's coming to my hand today it's sitting on the office desk and it's looking stunning i'm loving it it's nice and fresh and i'm going to plant it in my bagicha so this is going to be my a uh, plan from this independence day as in like yesterday the 14th to the next ki jitne darakht main apne haathon se khud laga saku meri koshish yahi rahegi ki main lagate rahu aur mujhe bahut zyada maza aa raha hai in uh is chakkar mein you know I've been plant- planting and i've been looking at plants and every time i look at my own bagicha i feel really proud even my neighborhood got some trees put there and not that i'm doing anybody else a favor i don't want to sound like i'm being like oh yeah i'm so cool but the feeling i got the feeling of accomplishing something amazing or giving something back to the mitti of this land to the future generations 
nothing can be more precious than planting a tree. Think about it and see how and when you can start this entire campaign. And slowly and gradually, another morning is coming towards its end, you guys. I hope you're having a fantastic Thursday. It's a good day to reflect back in time, think about the lives that we've had, think about the goodness that we've shared. And um, yeah, throwbacks, right? Just a time to reflect, observe, enjoy, spread love. Sounds so typical when I say it like that, but I truly do mean it. Sometimes things just have a habit of sounding cheesy, but if a person is coming from a good place, it really does make sense. Um, finish things that you start. I know we all suffer from low-level attention deficit issues. We are always running to our phones and our screens have made our attention span really short. But uh, one way to focus is to do or tackle one task at a time, one priority task, and uh, tend to ignore interruptions and distractions. Keep your phone, uh, distractions, getting distractions, keep your phone on the side, put it on silent, and tell yourself the next one hour, I am not touching this, come hail or high water. Right, another way to finish your, your uh, tasks, guys, how to finish something you start stay the course however tough it gets a lot of us kind of pull out midway or quit ki nahi nahi ye to ab zarurat se zyada mushkil lag raha hai ye to bilkul nahi ho payega this is where we kind of induce our own downfall bilkul ho sakta hai cheeze bilkul ho jati hain stay the course and of course hail finishing by celebrating whatever you have accomplished once you get your task done do spoil yourself if it's a big project take those three four days off and do go to nathya gali go to hunza if it's something really difficult you've had a tough week enjoy the weekend spoil yourself by going to the spa or something or the other so things like that right keep in mind and make sure that you uh, take care of yourself like i know self care has become the calling of our times but self care is actually quite sacred and a really really nice exercise to indulge in when things get rough thank you so much everybody for tuning in you are still tuned into the breakfast show with me and new say how has azadi week been for you i was tuned into city fm 89 all of yesterday and my goodness ghazal played some amazing amazing patriotic mili nagmas the ganas that were really nice and i was like oh my goodness ye gana to main bhul gayi thi ye bhi hai mere paas aur wo bhi hai mere paas i had quite a nice time listening to all those songs guys i'm going to take my leave i'm going to leave you with a promise that uh, tomorrow is going to be yet another day where we are going to be together and i'm going to continue playing you some cool music and we will be chit chatting about life anything and everything under the sun so thank you stay tuned and we'll see you on it tomorrow